Yes, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, tankers of Bitch Universe to the channel! We're gonna take a look at what is, in my opinion, currently the best tank destroyer line for new players in World of Tanks Blitz. And you could argue that the Chinese line is a really good one as well, because the Cheeto SPG is a pretty much overcooked tank. The Hori T9 is quite good. You have that really big DPM on the Hori Type 3. But to get to the Cheeto, you have to endure, quote unquote, you have to endure the, the Chinu and the regular Cheeto. And well, let's face it, these two tanks are not really competitive. The German tank destroyer line is very consistent. You start with the Hatzer at tier 4, then you get the Stuck 3, the Stumgeschütz, and then you get this tank, the Jagdpanzer 4. And uh, 2526 Fox, the only one from Philop clan, is not really using it as a Jagdpanzer, he's using it more as a as a Kamp Panzer, Camp Panzer. Uh, because he's sitting uh, at Camp Nell, and he is uh, bottom tier, as you can see, but, but this, this little machine of death. The, the, the duck, the deadly duck, Guderian's duck. This is a really, really cool tank. It is low slung, it has goodish frontal armor, it has a great gun and an amazing rate of fire. It has the best TPM of all the tier 6 tank destroyers. Penetration, a bit on the lowest side on your uh, on your AP, but use AP shell, it gets a little bit better. So I would recommend you use the calibrated shells on this tank to get it up to 152 on AP and 205 on your AP CR. Because you do need that if you are in a tier 7 battle. Because in a tier 7 battle it is low. It is it's 76 out of 100 tanks, that's really low. But it makes up for that with the really good DPM, the rate of fire, the, the aim time, the dispersion, which isn't really bad at all. Uh, after you've shot, the dispersion is quite low as well. So that means if you can sit still and if you have tanks in front of you, then you can keep shooting. <laughs> God bless this IS. Oh, I got the front of that tank is in the bush. Uh, I think uh, uh, ooh, ooh, somebody's tickling me. I'll just sit still here. Maybe he, uh, maybe he will stop shooting. Uh, no, he doesn't stop shooting. Let me go forward just a little bit more and sit a little more, more in the bush. I'm going to sit in the bush and then point the gun in the direction. Yeah, somebody shooting me from over there. I'm going to sit still here. Uh, <laughs> just, what does he do? I mean, getting one sh shot once, okay, fair enough. But, but twice, three times, four times, that, that uh, really doesn't work. And then you have Russian bias kicking in and yeah, you bounce a fair few shots. Um, then again... Foxy is uh, on a roll, as you can see. Look at the damage he has been pouring out. That is uh, the tank that is uh, follow the follow-up on the line, the Jagdpanther. This is still the uh, buffed Jagdpanther. You can see that from the armor on the side. They, they buffed the armor on the front of the tank. And Wargaming made a little bit of a bit of a boo-boo, a, a little bit of a mistake by also buffing the side armor on the tank behind the wheels. That was not supposed to happen. It has been rectified in update 6.9. Just a little nerf to the arc bonder, but yeah, that was really, really much overcooked. Oh, hello, IS. No, that one shot doesn't hit. Come on, get it, get, yeah, he has got the gun depression, shoot it. Yes, gets the kill, lovely stuff. Four kills, well over 3k damage, plus probably a few shots in there that were blind shooting on that uh, IS, maybe one or two. But this is what this tank can do. And if you are a bottom tier tank destroyer Jagd Panzer 4, then I would recommend you to sit like Fox was doing. Maybe not sit on the obvious camping spots, but you really do not have the penetration values or the armor to, to really brawl through all the tanks. Because your gun is good, but your aim arc isn't spectacular. It is, it is, uh, what's it actually, uh, 10 degrees towards the left and the right in terms of all the tier 6 tank destroyers that is goodish, middle of the pack, but the gun depression is only 5 and that means that you have to have some form of, I don't know, map awareness, you have to start driving the tank and know where you can sit because tier 7 gets quite competitive and if you're a tier 7 tank destroyer like Mirakuru Iron from Cell Clan is doing here. He's driving the Yacht Panther, as you can see, the overcooked version from 6.8 still, but it's a really good game, this one, so I decided to use it anyway. If you are not map aware in tiers. <laughs> Hello! In tiers <laughs> 6, 7, and 8, uh, yeah, then, then things can get very nasty very soon. And if you then drive a Tangler, which is, as said in, in, in the last game, very consistent. 
I mean, you get to drive the Hatzer at Tier 4, you get to know the maps a little bit more, you get to drive the, the Stuck 3, the Stumgeschütz, really cool tank, like a lightning bolt, just zo zips around, zooms around. Bit of an E25, maybe at, at Tier 5. Um, trollish armor, that tank, the Nesshorn has no armor whatsoever. Uh, really good gun, but no armor, a bit of a glass cannon. But if you have a line that is consistent, like this line, it, it, is, it is really good because you get to play around with the tanks and, and you get to learn all the good spots where you can sit in, all the, the nitty gritty spots where you can abuse your armor, where you can use the gun arc, where you can shoot through little gaps like this. And in my opinion that's better than playing turreted tanks up towards tier 6 and then having to play non-turreted tanks. In, in that regard the American Tank Destroyer line is a bit of a weird one, basically, and maybe even so the the other German Tech Tree line, the uh, the Grill line. So uh, this one, I recommend that one for newer players. And there's another thing which I would uh, like to recommend as well, for, or, whip, or which I would like to recommend, which I would want to give as a reason for recommending this line for new players, is the fact that in 6.10 the Yark Tiger will probably get a buff. Obviously, this is still uh, in open test, but it is scheduled to get a buff on the frontal armor. And the thing already has quite good frontal armor, but it will become even better. So, why would you not consider this line then? Well, reasons to not consider this line while Mirakuru is shooting this uh, Dicker Max, as you can see, and he's up to six kills, but he also lost a lot of hit points, so... Let's pray that he doesn't get shot up the Aussie. Oh, guys, move! I'm really low on hit points. I have just this pillar here sitting. Hello, oh, where is it? Where is it? No, 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 no! Move away! Don't shoot me! I'm on six kills and I don't have any hit points left, so shoot my teammates. They're available as well. Come on, guy, mate, dude, shoot my teammates. Shoot the, yes, shoot the Nesson. That's good. Shoot the Nesson. Really good. Uh, Nesson, you should not burn. You should stay alive a little bit longer and provide more hit points for that uh, KV-1S. What is an IS? It's a KV-1S. Yeah, shoot him again. Yes! There we go. And then hopefully bounce so we can get Rosania's medal. Um, <laughs> what was I saying again? Um, as I was saying, reasons to not drive this line is the fact that these are non turret tank destroyers. And turret tanks are a bit more flexible. And then that defies my words because uh, Simas, I suppose, is going to drive the Yak Panther 2, the, the uh, well, uh, really mobile Yolo Panther, actually, because it, just look at it, he bounces his shot. <laughs> and hello, T49, and uh, much. <laughs> he sent this one to me. Martin, maybe you can use the one for a video. Just uh, Yolo Ace in the uh, Yak Panther. All, all these games are Ace games. These are cherry picked from everything I've said. They might be. Every man plays, but these are all ace games because they show what the tanks can do. And this tank, the Yak Panther 2, that is a true drive together with the mediums assault gun. It has a really big gun on it. It has really strange sights, as you can see, but which enemies can miss if they are not aware of what, what is happening or just new to the game or bots or whatever. I don't know. It has really flat sights that is annoying when you get hashed by uh, tanks if you are bottom tier. But that frontal armor, it is spectacular. It is really, really good. What are you talking about then, Martin, in terms of armor? Well, your front plate is 100 mils thickness only, but it is angled backwards. And if you use the maximum gun depression, you get it up to about 188, which is not epic. But the casemate is 150 only. And get that one angled and using the maximum gun depression and the gun arc, then you're looking at about 350 to 360. Good luck penetrating that. Most of the tanks you'll be facing have to resort to APCR. And your weaponry isn't that bad at all. Because you start off with the L52 gun, which you have unlocked already on the Arkpanda as a top gun. That one has 2.5k DPM. Goodish penetration, goodish damage per shot, but it, it makes you expose quite a lot to enemy targets. But once you get the top gun, the 12.8 gun, the Panzer Abwehr Kanone 44 L555, oh, then you're looking at 2.6k DPM, 246 penetration on AP, 311 on your APCR, and 390 in terms of damage APCR, and 460 in terms of damage AP. And that's the tier 10 gun. 
And if I'm not mistaken, that gun is the gun that's also on the Jagd Tiger as the top, uh, as not the top gun, as the stock gun. You're looking at a really good big gun, which is, it is, it's a lot better. I mean, I've played the tank a little bit, uh, the Jagd Panther 2. Didn't really like it with the, with the stock gun because, as I said, you have to expose yourself quite a bit. And if you have the really stocky, stocky gun, the 8.8 centimeter, the L71, then, uh, yeah. My hopes are with you, 203 base pen. That's, that really isn't going to cut it, and especially 220 uh, damage per shot. That just doesn't work. So, that's already two good reasons to play this German tank destroyer line, because you have a very consistent line, you have a good weaponry, you get a buffed tier 9 Jagdtiger, but I've also, I've also, I've not mentioned the fact yet that a lot of the guns that you use on these tanks are interchangeable. Let me clarify. If you drive the Yark Panther, you're starting off with the uh, you end the line with the 8.8 centimeter L71 gun, and then you can go towards the Yark Panther 2 or the Ferdinand, which we're looking at here by uh, facing Phase on Phantom Fox from the Toast Clan. This replay was already featured on Fuji's channel, but it was one of the replays I had on the Ferdinand available, so I decided to use it anyway. You can get through the Yark Panther towards the Ferdinand. I would not do that straight away, unlock the big gun first at 10.5 cm, because the Ferdi has the same weaponry as the Yark Panther 2. And it's a bit of a strange tank because it doesn't lead anywhere. You, you can get the Yark Panther and then the Yark Panther 2, or you can get the Ferdi and then towards the Yark Tiger. But what it does allow you is to swap, swap out some of the guns. Uh, Russian buy is there. <laughs> and if you drive the other line, if you drive the Nesshorn line, you can get the big gun for the Nesson. You can get that by unlocking it already on the Jagd Panther. So that's quite good. You, you get a tier 6 tank destroyer glass cannon, as said. But you get a glass cannon and you can unlock the, uh, the gun on a far better tank. Phasing, however, is in the Ferdinand. And the Ferdinand is a, is a big box. It, it is a big box. It, it was used in, in on the Russian front. It did not have a uh, frontal machine gun, which was just bad for this really big box that it was. It had, yeah, real real poor vision outwards in, in reality. Just didn't work. It was changed into the elephant with a, with an added machine gun for self defense. But it's the Ferdinand asset in World of Tanks Blitz. DPM. Bit on the lowest side, 2,399 penetration. Not brilliant uh, if you have the top gun. But it is, as said, a big bulky box. And the frontal armor has been changed. You had those little cheeks on the left and the right side of the frontal hull, which were leftovers from the Tiger P, from the Tiger Porsche. And because you had those little bits over there, boom! Yes, great shot! Fall off the cliff! Thank you very much. Um, because you had those little cheeks, the frontal armor you had was just... Yeah, no, it wasn't wasn't really useful. But what you do have is hello, nice gun depression of eight degrees. Ten degrees would have been even better, but eight degrees quite good. And you got fifty degrees of gun up towards the left and the right. Mobility pants. It is very heavy. It, it weighs a ton, but it is a really slow lumbering tank destroyer. So you do not want to use that too much in a assault role unless you really have some team support. Team Trouble, however, is uh, from Aces Clan, and he bounces the first shot on that angled front plate of the FV4202, and he bounces the return shot as well, which is good. And now he can do what a Yark Tiger does best. Keep the tanks in front of you, and just freaking burn through them. Just completely burn through them. This has one of the best DPMs in the entire game. Stock DPM. 3,511. I think it's only topped by the SU-12254 currently. And it has a great gun asset. You're looking at the 12.8 uh, gun, the PEC-44-2 slash L-61, slash penetration value 276, which is quite good. It is uh, nearly the best in terms of all the TNI 9 tank destroyers. And if you whip out your AP, so you get 352. So I would recommend go for calibrated shells on this uh, on this tank. It it has got good kind of penetration already, but you have got good DPM. You can enhance it, of course. No problem whatsoever. No questions asked. 
but you would really want to keep shooting enemies as much as possible, thank you very much, <laughs> uh, and then penetrate all your shots. And Team Trouble is having some trouble with his team, as you can see, and with walls as well, because uh, he hasn't got a shot. And now he has to do what your Tigers do. Just burn through the enemy. Yeah, he's burned him a little. He's burned him for 739 hit points already. But he has to burn a little bit more. And he's a really heavy tank, as you can see, which is why he gets stuck on little wooden pillars. Hello, IS-7. Can you please move away? Thank you very much. That is an IS-8. There we go. But his team is crumbling. His team is crumbling. And he is losing a little bit of health now, too. The Arc Tiger has a good gun which can miss, and it has got good frontal armor, but it is German as well, so it has a massive lower plate, and it gets set on fire quite <laughs> quite easily, as you can see. But what you can do, especially if you're against inexperienced players, or players who have lost their repair packs, then you can sit in a position like this, side scrape a little bit, and just sort of keep them perfect. The IS-7 manages to repair just in time, just in time, but Team Trouble is not well, he's not afraid, he goes forward. Hello, IS-8, have you not figured out what was happening? Pop goes to toilet, thank you very much. What is he going to do? A low health IS-7 left, oh, he's not facing. Yes, yeah, swing the gun around, boom, there we go. You have a good gun. You have great aim time, best in class. You have great dispersion factors upon uh, shooting. Best in class of all the Tina tank destroyers. Upon moving, not so much, but... When rotating the turret, you do. Which means that if you keep driving a lot and then rotate, it is, it's quite awful. But if you just turn on the spot like Team Trouble was doing right then, which he's trying to do here, then you, your dispersion doesn't get that high. And he's done uh, 4k damage nearly, as you can see. And because it was a supremacy game and he, uh, he, he cleared a few higher tier tanks, he managed to get an ace as well. I, I decided to... To, to, to leave out all these screens for the battle results, just to shorten the video a little bit. And because otherwise it would be another 20 minutes in total. And have, there were people who were saying to me, well, Martin, uh, we want these videos to be a little bit uh, shorter. So, I'm happy to oblige. Mitchell 79 from the Clear Clan, is uh, going to show us how to use a Jaegeru. And I have that one already on the channel, but it's a tech trio for you, so it had to go in. The... Uh, SD1 on his team is a uh, real big Muppet, wants to drown himself, and Meat Shield is going to show us how to use this beast to perfection. He is, has been on the ridge, on, the, on that race road, getting a few shots in on the Sheridans, uh, first and foremost. One of them was popping his barrel over, trying to, uh, trying to shoot. Oh, I have a rocket loaded. I want to shoot my rocket. I, um, because, uh, because I feel like it. I want to shoot my pocket rocket. Well, you... Uh, Popped over your turret and you got nuked by uh, this really big, big, big gun. A really big gun, uh, like, a, like a Duke Nukem gun. It is the 70 centimeter Puck, the Panzer Abwehr Kanone. DPM, lowish. Penetration, 299 on AP. So, it's good, but it's not epic. Heat pen, 380. That will blast through everything. HE shell, only 85 in terms of penetration, but when it does, 1200 damage per shot. Brilliant stuff. Uh, is it, does it have good gun handling? Uh, no, it does not, because it's a big gun. And it, that means that it has got woeful dispersion. But after shot, not too bad, to be honest. Gun depression, 6 degrees. Could have been a little bit better. But, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think the uh, Jaeger with the Jagdpanzer has had its... Aiming arc changed a little bit as well. I think it has been buffed from 10 degrees to 12 degrees left and right now, 24 in total. And if you let the gun sing a little bit, and perma track other people, and uh, no, 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 I'm one of the, oh yeah, shoot it now, shoot it now. Thank you very much, and now get, get behind me again. I'll be your meat shield, thank you very much. See, I'll be your meat shield, no problem whatsoever, no problem whatsoever. And here's the award-winning move. It's gonna be an award-winning move in the Arc Panzer E100. This is a slow, lumbering beast. This is why you need to have a line which is consistent. If you can't drive the... Let's say if you can't drive the Ferdinand properly, then you might have problems with the with the uh, Jagdtiger. And if you have problems with the Jagdtiger, you will surely not be able to drive this tank. 
And Nietzsche knows exactly how quick his tank is. And he knows he can go through the front of a mouse through the cheeks of the mouse. And then he burn, bounces. He burns. He bounces the shot from the mouse. He bounces the shot from the SD1 as well. And people will start shooting heat at you. Well, like, you have to protect your cheeks. I will go for a remor on this tank as well. Because, I mean, the DPM is pretty crap anyway. So... I would recommend getting the penetration up even more so you can <laughs> go through the front of an SD1 tank with heat. Get that penetration really up sky high. Get the penetration on your heat on 418. It will burn through everything then. But you have to have a team that is somewhat helpful. Or that wants to give up all the hit points on the enemy like the SD1 did over here. And this uh, mouse is not doing the right thing. He he made the, the mouse made the wrong move. He abandoned flank and tried to kill an isolated target, but did not know what was happening. And Meat Shield did. And I said what well, the award-winning move. Well, the award-winning move for me was the fact that he stayed in that position. He did not turn around once that light tank was spotted. He stayed over there because he knew they would get flanked from the port area. And he's gonna shoot the mouse now through the side. Boom! There we go. Thank you very much. Gun up in the air for the beauty shot. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Tankers of Blitz Universe. In my opinion, currently the best tank destroyer line for beginners. Yard Panzer E100 line. And you might as well try to do the fur D2 because, yeah. Gives the fur and some love. It's a bit of an orphan in the tech tree. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you all on the next video. Cheers! Happy tanking!